Today I'm gonna be showing all the locations in this stupid rogue deep walking copy. Uh, cause a lot of people complain in the Discord server that hey, how do I get oaths? Or people just ask me, how do I get oaths? So I thought I might as well just make a video on it, right? So when you first enter, what you always want to do is immediately run forward and just head towards Snap Tower. Cause layer two in this game is just the rogue lineage tundra map. Like, one for one, except for, I think, a small bit, but it's not that serious. Um, so you just come up here, go to Snap Tower, and you're just gonna chill, you know? Hang out. You can use this lantern to heat up, you know, do all that. Now, there are three oaths in this game, at least currently obtainable. There is Arc Warder, Contractor, and, um... Dawnwalker. I'm gonna show you how to eat all those in this video. So number one is a uh, arc water. So in order to get arc water, first you just have to completely finish the regular quest line for this um for layer two. So you know killing Dervis, killing Chaser, all that stuff. I'll just run through that really quickly, just in case you guys don't know how to do it. After you exit Snap Tower, you wanna come up here. Come up these walls. Come up here. By here, so the left is gonna be the necro area. There's like there's, there's a lantern here because in case you need to heat up, they can hit that. Be good. After that, you want to climb up some more. There you go. You're gonna see these blue lanterns. Pretty much just want to follow these blue lanterns, just keep holding right. Gonna make just the bridge, just make sure you don't fall between the cracks or you will instantly die. Because this game is amazing. And you're gonna find Deervis. Deervis is this little boss. Pretty much all you have to do is just parry and dodge. It's not a joke. Uh, you can parry his entire kit, except for one where you have to dodge it, but very simple. Just hit him a few times during the dialogue. He's gonna start fighting you. You can parry this. Oh, messed up. Roll that. You can parry that, it's just it messed me up. Parry. Oh. I messed up again. Kinda bad. Parry. Oh, okay. Parry. 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 Alright now, when he's doing that, that means his posture broken. And you can just kind of do whatever you want to him. Because he's kind of not available to fight back. Oh, nice. Overall, not a hard fight. Sometimes you get flung because of his body. Be careful because it's a little buggy. But yeah, after that, he's going to continue forward. Climb up here. Go around. And turn here. And then just climb down. Yes, this is Laboratory Sigma from Rogue Lineage. Throw in the generator. Talk to the little speaker thing. Go through its dialogue. Do it again. Then he'll send down a driller. You can stand like right here. And it will kind of just crash down on you. And you'll already be inside of it. Yeah, then you'll be at snail. Once you're at snail, simply talk to this guy. You're gonna summon another driller, which is this. 
We get sent through it. Go through here. Maybe hit a lantern. Climb through here. On here. There you go. And think about this guy. Uh, he's not exactly strong. So what you can do is you can just walk him off the edge. Right there. And he'll just die. But pretty much that activates like the second generator or whatever. Or some technical thing. Basically, you have to do that to, to continue. Uh, enter the driller again. Be back at Snail. I'm gonna go talk to the dude again, say, hey, I did it, or whatever. To summon another driller, which is down here. Down here. And this part gets a little weird because sometimes he'll take full damage from this drop, sometimes he won't. Just depends on where you get lucky or not. And we obviously did not get lucky. So once you get up, you can just come and run over here into a, a Yeti cave. Take a take a quick left so you can hit the lantern real fast. There you go. Head over to the Sanctum Sphere. Talk to it. Oh, let's click. Let's open with the chaser. Yep. And then it's gonna send down a, another driller. Where you will just go through it and fight chaser. And chaser itself is a very easy fight. Um, he doesn't really do much. I hate that fall so much. It's so stupid. This doesn't really do much. He kind of just, um, always moves me parried or dodge, like Deervis. One click means he's gonna send out uh, that one grab move. You can parry or roll that. Two clicks means he's gonna ash slam you, just parry it. And three clicks means he's gonna send out three whatever's at you. You can just parry those or roll them. Anyways, he's right here. This is a very goofy fight. Um, it's, it's obviously not as polished as something like Deep Woken, but yeah. See, two clicks happens, and I just parry another two. So I parry it. Another two. I missed the time, but um, you know. The two. He's gonna fall to the ground. And you can just beat him up. That's pretty much all you do. There we go. That's all you have to do the entire time. Once he gets to this stage, he just ends up harming himself. Um, he's not really hard or anything, he just starts hurting himself, so you don't actually have to do anything, he's just to wait it out. Then he'll eventually die. And there you go. Pick his stuff up. And we are going to go back to the driller because um, we have to do something. We just have to get Arc Water now. Now you're gonna walk back to where you came from, go back up, and re enter the driller. Go. And that's your back inside the Yeti cave. 
go back towards the lantern is. And what you're gonna do, get this lantern. And then you're actually gonna start going forward into the tundra. I'm up here. There's a few lands on the way here, so make sure you get like super warm so you're not even close to dying of frostbite. Because you die pretty fast to frostbite in this game. It's like the most annoying part of layer 2. Hit it again. Alright. Keep moving forward. Now all that's left is just to go down. Because where we're going is towards the sick guy location from Rogue Lagoon Edge. Um, where you would talk to this guy and turn it in a, um, a tower in the wall. Yeah, you just want to head there. Just go ahead and run over there. Here we are. Go ahead and see, we're actually going to have to attack him. And then you're going to pick him up. And then we're going to go ahead and walk back to Snail. And we're going to do it manually because um the drills are kind of far behind us. So I'm just going to go to Snail manually. Be careful, because everything right here is like instant death. So, climb on the wall. Go across. And go across these bridges. Enter Snail. Okay, then I'm going to come up here. Talk to this guy. He's going to talk to you about... Okay, well, I already have an oath, so I can't do this, but... He's going to talk to you about someone who's missing. Go through that dialogue. And then talk to him again with the dude on your shoulder, of course. And he's going to be like, oh, have you found him or whatever? Say, so, yeah. And then he'll invite you to join the Ark Orders. And there, then you'll have the uh, the oath. Now, in order to progress the oath, which you must do, is you're going to have to kill Chaser, like, several times. I don't exactly know how many times it takes to max it. I kind of forgot. But just keep, just keep killing Chaser until it no longer gives you any skills. Arc Ward is by far the easiest to progress, as it's just killing Chaser. So, yeah, very simple. Now on to Contractor. If you're going for Contractor, and you have finally made it over to the Yeti Cave area, before you kill, um, Chaser. I'm actually not sure if you need to do this before or after. I don't think it matters. But, just in case, before you kill Chaser, what you're gonna do, is gonna come out here. I'm just gonna head over to the Oni Trainer. up to where Big Hoss would be. Now instead of Big Hoss being here, there's instead this random girl. Now, you're going to have to talk to this girl on two separate runs. So what you're going to do, right, you're going to do two separate layer two runs where you do the main quest line, talk to this girl, and then kill Chaser. Once you have talked to this girl twice and killed Chaser twice and done all that stuff, you are now able to go get Contractor. I forgot to mention, you need 100 grip points, I believe, in order to get this. Could be false. I haven't tested that exactly, but I heard that from a friend. So, if you've done all these steps and you can't get it and you don't have 100 grip points, uh, that's probably why. But yeah, head over to, uh, head over to Solon Sword. Which is, uh, right between the caverns of Oni Trainer or whatever. Head up here. And then all you're going to do is just, of course I can't do it because I have an oath. Just inspect the Solon Sword. You should be able to pull it out. And then you'll become a contractor. Simple. Now in order for, to uh, progress contractor, all you have to do is just kill other contractor users. But yeah, all you have to do is just kill other contractors. And that's how you progress the, uh, the skills. Okay, now on to Don Walker. 
Now, if you want to get Dawn Walker that I, now if you want to get Dawn Walker like I have, uh, it's actually complete RNG. It kind of sucks, but um, you just kind of have to spam do this. You just have to like, you just have to like kind of keep doing this over and over again until you get what you need, which is a radiant fragment. But um, here's how you get it. Basically, from Snap Tower, climb down, hold the right, go up here. You need four. You need four Gale Wax, um, to open a chest, which has a chance of having a Radiant Fragment in it. It can also have Enchants, um, but you know, first Gale Wax is up here. Come down from the Snap Tower, hold the right, climb up. The Gale Wax. That's one of four. Second is inside of the Necro House or whatever. All you're gonna do, climb up, get inside of the house, let me hit the bust. Get inside of the house, there's gonna be a hole right here. Walk inside of the hole, go through this room. Second gal wax, two out of four. After you've done the uh, necro house, you're gonna have to do the entire quest line for um, Dervis and all that stuff. Kill Chaser, do all that stuff. Cause the last two are at an area where you have to the last two are an area where you have to kill Chaser in order to unlock it, or at least get to the area of Chaser to where you can actually access it. Once you've made it back to the Chaser Arena, you're going to turn right, go across this bridge, and you're just going to drop down onto this hole, and there's a third Gale Wax, so you get a four. Now climb back up. Hit this lantern, go across this bridge, and go across this bridge. Pretty much what you want to do is you want to hold forward until you reach a wall. Don't do any turns or anything. Just go straight forward. And then you're going to turn to the right and head over here. You're gonna reach a, um, this little cavern or whatever. Hit this lantern, and there's the last Gale Wax. Four out of four. And once you have all of them, I'm gonna go back to the chaser arena. Now all you have to do is just turn these in. Which all you have to do to do that is go to the Tundra Obelisk. If you've played Rogue before, you'd know. All you have to do is go past Castle Sank, which this area would usually be Castle Sank if the building was still there. Head to the right to get to Sigil. Climb down here. Climb up. I'm up. And here you are. Enter this room. You can do the parkour. Um, it's not really hard. Or you can just climb on the walls. Then there's a Tundra Obelisk. Talk to it. Talk to it again. Offer Gale Wax. There you go. Come down here to Mother Whispers, or where she usually would be. The chest. Oh! Yo, I actually got one. W. This is the last one I needed. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't expecting to actually get one. Uh, cause there's super low chance. Anyways, I'm about to die, but, oh, yeah, I'm, I actually am about to die. I don't, I don't have light hook. Oh god. Oh okay, yeah, I'm gonna die. Whatever. Um, but yeah, that's how you get all the else. Uh, you know, W. You typically want to do that a little faster. I was doing all of the O's in one run. So I died. Because uh, I didn't have my light hook still up. But yeah. That's how you get all the oaths in Guppy. Hey. Super cool.